Call it out, Kristen. 24.04. All right. Quite a set. We just dropped another short horror film, and although it's short, it still packs a punch, and there's a ton to talk about. Without wasting any more time, I'm going to take you through how we made our short film, Stain. Arguably the most important part of this film is the dress, since this is where the antagonist comes from, and it's really the center of this film. We still wanted this dress to appear beautiful in some way, so we didn't do too much to it aside from adding the bloodstains. We added those bloodstains around the collar of the dress to hint at the ghost being headless. When shooting for everything where the dress is supposed to be coming alive, we had Anna step in frame with a green screen mask on, and this was to really assist the VFX, which we'll get to in a bit. For this film, we decided to bring Tommy back, and initially this actually was not the film that we were trying to shoot. There was a much larger film that we had planned out for this day that we booked a couple of months in advance, and uh, it was going to be a pretty exciting shoot, but it felt like there was more that we could do with the, uh, the main prop that we were using for this film, and I didn't just want to throw that away. And so we kind of just put it back into the workshop, and uh, we're trying to figure out something better that's going to work for that. And so we decided to shoot a different film, which also was not this film. Uh, this one was focused on a doctor uh, that was messing around with this haunted x-ray machine, and that also just didn't work since we didn't have the correct resources for it. And I'd like to do it eventually, but that again just fell through. And so about two weeks away from shooting, I was just trying to figure out what we could shoot. And I was looking through some potential ideas I had and threw this one together. And that's partially one of the reasons why it's so short, but we still wanted to make the best of it and make something great since Tommy comes all the way from Atlanta, which is about an eight hour drive. So we still wanted to make something awesome. And even though this one's short, I still think we did a great job on it. We had Anna step in as the customer for the opening scene, and she also played the antagonist. Since it was supposed to be a headless ghost, we obviously didn't need to see a face. And so to save on having too many people there, we had her play both characters. For this film, we had inspiration from a real life shop where there are windows all in the front of the shop. So we had to do the lighting in a way that matched that and reflected that. For this one we kept the lighting pretty simple. There were just a few different lighting setups. One we had the daytime, then we had the nighttime, and then we had the interior closet. For the daytime scene we just had a couple lights as the interior store lights and then we had some different ones acting as sunlight just coming in through the windows. For the nighttime scenes it was really fun. It was a little challenging as well to make everything work. I really liked the location of the window in this one just to light everything into the scene like that. It was really cool, added just some nice variety and depth to the actual room itself. When lighting for green screen, it can be a little difficult. You have to light things very evenly on it so it can key out a lot more easily. And when you're filming on the set as well, you have to kind of make compromises as far as the lighting goes. We had to make sure no shadows were on the walls in any of the shots because if there were, you would see the shadow of a head, which is not what you want. So we had to move and uh, manipulate some different things, cheat some different shots to make all that work. It can always be a little challenging trying to light any scene that is not supposed to have light in it. For the closet, I just created a soft box for uh, one of our lights just to evenly light everything in there, just so that there's not too much contrast in any one spot because there's not really supposed to be any contrast at all where there's no light. There was a particular concept art that I've seen from a while ago that really inspired the look of this dress and I'm glad we did this because it's something I wanted to do for a while. I'm pretty sure it's from the scary stories to tell in the dark books, but there's this photo of a dress with a hanger in it and I assume it's supposed to move without a head in it and that's really what inspired this. And it's somewhat like what we did on an older film called Withered but a bit different, and uh, this one really fully moves with the hanger in it. Initially, the idea of the hanger moving wasn't something I thought we could pull off because I just don't have the correct VFX knowledge for it, but I reached out to Miles, who's done some other VFX for us, and he was able to really seal it up and make it look awesome. For, for most of the shots, it was keying out the green screen face and tracking on different elements to it, especially in the hanger. 
I think Miles did a great job on it, and I'm super happy to have him on the team going forward to really knock out these VFX shots that I can't do myself, and uh, it's going to be really fun to see what happens. This was a totally different set than we've ever done before since all of our other sets are really supposed to be just bedrooms and, uh, yeah, really just bedrooms, and this was a different approach since we were creating a store interior. And to do this, we wanted to make the room feel a bit of a different shape, which is why we added that L shape and uh, tucked away in that corner and decorating it with different clothing items like the mannequins and having those clothing racks really, I think, sealed it as being a shop. This was a fun one to make. I hope you really enjoyed it. Big thank you to everybody that's supporting us here on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and Patreon as well. Keep supporting us there. We're going to be pumping out more content for you as always. I hope you guys enjoy this film. Definitely a shorter one, but we can assure you we have tons more content coming soon and uh, some longer ones coming your way. I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one.